everyone! Today I have another product to show you, so... In the box, we have the user manual, which provides essential information to get started. Next, we have the micro SD card, which is good that they included it in the box. Next, calibration cards, which are useful and assure us that the camera have accurate temperature readings. Moving on, here is the thermal camera itself, well-built and compact, designed for handheld operation. And finally, the box includes a charging cable, allowing you to keep the camera powered up and ready for use. Taking a closer look at the camera, we can see its sturdy construction and ergonomic design. On the side, we have a USB port for data transfer and charging, and right next to it, a slot for an SD card to store all your thermal images and recordings. On the bottom, there's a mounting point for a tripod, providing stability for stationary inspections. The camera also comes with a protective carrying bag, making it convenient to store and transport. Let me show you how easily the camera fits into the bag, ensuring it stays safe and protected from any potential damage while on the go. Next, I have a small tripod here on the table. Attaching the camera is simple and straightforward thanks to the standard tripod mounting point. Once mounted, I can easily adjust the camera to different angles, making it ideal for hands-free operation when conducting inspections. Now, let's move on to inserting the SD card. Opening the card slot, we carefully place the SD card inside, ensuring it's properly seated. This will allow us to store all our thermal imaging data directly onto the card for easy retrieval and analysis. With the SD card inserted, let's power on the camera. Pressing the power button, we wait for the system to initialize. The startup is quick and efficient, getting us ready to capture thermal images in no time. For our first test, let's take the camera into the hallway. Here, we can clearly see the heat pipes running beneath the floor. The camera does a fantastic job of detecting the thermal variations, making it an excellent tool for identifying heating systems and potential inefficiencies. Next, let's test the camera on some electronic components. Using it to inspect a printed circuit board, we can easily identify heat-generating components, allowing us to detect faulty parts or areas prone to overheating. This feature is particularly useful for technicians and electronics hobbyists.
Overall, the Vever handheld thermal camera proves to be a versatile and valuable tool for various applications. Whether you're in construction, electrical work, or DIY projects, this camera can help you detect heat-related issues with ease. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Your support means a lot and help me bring more great content. Also consider supporting me on Patreon to help keep this channel running and growing. To all my subscribers, I hope you understand that this type of content is necessary to keep the channel going. And for my next video, I'll be back with more electronics content that I usually do. I'll see you in the next one.